Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. Today I want to talk with you guys about one of the biggest chainsaw mistakes that you can make and whether or not I did it wrong. A lot of people think I did. Let's check it out. One of the first ever videos that we filmed here on the Swedish Homestead channel was me doing a video on how to properly cut down a tree. The video wasn't by any means perfect. I just want to say again that was one technique and you know you can have um, other good techniques. The problem was that when I cut into the tree many people were um, freaking out and saying that I did the unforgivable chainsaw mistake number one. Let me show you what the people think I did and what I actually did. So on the chainsaw Obviously the chain is spinning around and when you when you speed it up you have the p pulling chain here and the pushing chain on top here. And so this gives the effect that when you put your chainsaw into a tree or into a log with a tip that by from the speed that it's spinning at the chainsaw is going to jump up like that it's called kickback and that's why it's so important that this safety feature here exists. Now when I cut down the tree on the video, and you can check it out if you click on the link in the description or on the screen here and you go to minute 1007 about, you will find that people th think that I put the tip of the chainsaw bar into the tree to make this final cut here. And you know, that, that that's what you never do, that's unforgivable because your chainsaw is gonna jump away. If you pay close attention, that's never, that never happens in the video. Um, and the reason for that is that I didn't put the tip in it like this. You see, the safest way to enter your chainsaw anywhere is to go like this and enter it into the tree. If you're gonna do that. What I did is I entered it into the tree like this. And that is also safe. It's a little bit more advanced. I wouldn't recommend it for people that are not so experienced and want to stay on the safe side of things. But the thing is that I never entered this chainsaw like this. I entered it first like this with the pushing chain, not on the tip. And when you had it in the tree, then you can turn it around because now you have the whole tree here to protect it from kickback. And then you can enter your chainsaw. So I hope this helped to clarify a few things and also to show you guys how you can enter your saw bar uh, from both directions if you do it the right way with avoiding kickback. And um, if you're new to the channel, if this is the first time watching, check out all the other videos about forestry and um, about the chainsaws with my brother Tim who is an arborist. Uh, it's gonna be very useful. The channel has also lots of other things to offer, anything from family vlogs to pigs, chickens, gardening, and so on. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.